Over the past 12 months, I've had the chance to connect with some of the most successful and remarkable people in business, athletes, and creatives. And there's one thing that I noticed that the most successful people have. It's a skill. It's a trait that they weren't born with, but they developed along the way that you too can develop. And it's something that no one is talking about. They're writing books, they're out there speaking on stages, people are analyzing all these successful people, and yet no one realized that this is the secret. And the only reason that I noticed it is because I've had the chance to be around these people. I've had the chance to pick their brain and ask all these little questions that I noticed through pattern recognition the same things keep coming up. And I was like, that is the secret. That is what we all need. So who are these people? You know, on, on We Do Hard Things on the podcast, I'm talking about like Vishen Lakiani, the CEO of Mind Valley, Colin O'Brady, the man who walked across Antarctica, Lisa Bilyeu, Rand Fishkin, the founder of Moz. I'm talking Dan Millman, the author behind The Way of the Peaceful Warrior, or Stephen Kaptenhoff Hoffman, Silicon Valley VC. And not just on the podcast, in real life. I, I, I've been to events this year where I got to spend time backstage with Marie Forleo, one-on-one -on -one talking with her, Jenna Kuchner, and Ed Milet, Eric Thomas, Andy Frisilla, Dean Graciosi, and then in my own network, like I, I feel so fortunate that I can just pick the brain of people in my own network. I'm talking about Evan Carmichael or uh, Anthony Trucks, ex-NFL football player, America Ninja Warrior, speaker, the guy who is literally writing the book on how to shift your identity. And then really good friends like Steven Scoggins or uh, Nick Bradley, the M&A expert who's out there helping people scale and grow businesses. I love the fact that I could pick their brains and see how they work. And so as I've been picking all of these different brains of these amazing people and watching how they work and how they interact with, with me, and when I ask them a question, that little look on their face of like, what? What's the problem? I don't think the way you think, Mark. I don't, that, that problem that seems to hold you up, it, it doesn't hold me up. I don't know. I just, I just get on with stuff. And this, this is the secret to their success that no one's writing about, that no one's talking about. This is what I've witnessed. This is what I know to be true. Are you ready for it? They don't judge themselves. Sure, they have the voice in their head. They have doubt. They have fear. They have all of those things, but they don't judge themselves the way that, the way that you judge yourself. And this, this is the real secret to success. And I know that they don't judge themselves because they don't spend a lot of time judging other people. When I'm speaking to all of these successful people and I'm sharing with them the challenges that I'm facing and the things that keep coming up, I feel like I could be totally honest with them, totally open with them, and that, that there was no judgment. They did not judge me. And when I dug really into what led to their success, I realized they don't, not only don't spend a lot of time or energy judging other people, they don't judge themselves the same way that you do or that I do that slows us down. And this lack of judgment, this, this removing the judgment from their world helps them in seven ways. There are seven things that happen that will allow you to level up your success when you remove the judgment from your life. In this video, I'm going to share those seven secrets, those seven tactics with you. So that way you too can be just as successful as all these other people who are out there making shit happen. Okay, number one, when you remove judgment, when you stop judging yourself and others, you can make more decisive decisions. You know, a CEO, a leader, an entrepreneur, a visionary, our jobs are to make decisions when we don't have all the facts. We have bits and pieces of information and we kind of string them together and then we just go. And when you remove judgment, you can be more decisive. The most successful people know that they don't have all the information. They know that it's spotty, but it's their job to make the decision. So they do, they go, and they don't judge themselves. Number two, if you remove the judgment, you can be more adaptive. In today's world, being adaptive is the most important skill set you can develop because you need to be able to change on the fly. You need to be comfortable with change. Change is happening. It's happening fast. It will never stop happening. But 
adapting to new information, to new knowledge, to, to new lessons learned. When you remove judgment, you can be adaptable because you're not beating yourself up for going, why did I think that was a good idea? Why did I do that way back then? Why did I make that decision? Sure, you can learn from it. You can analyze it so you don't make the same mistakes twice. But if you remove the judgment, you can be super, super adaptable. Hey, we, we thought it was going to be one thing. It turned out to be something else. Let's change. I changed my mind. I changed, I changed my mind. I thought I'd like it. I don't like it. I'm not judging myself. You can be more adaptable. And when you can be more adaptable, you can really bob and weave as the world changes, as, as finances change, as your team changes, as, as you change and as you grow. And when you remove the judgment, you can just bob and weave and move all over the place really, really fast. Which brings us to number three. When you remove the judgment, you can be open to corrections, right? When you're not judging yourself for thinking one thing or thinking another thing or learning new things, you're open to corrections. And this is something that I've noticed with some of the most successful people that I've sat down with is they love to be corrected, right? Yeah, is it a, is it a hit to your ego to be wrong or any of those things? When you, get rid of, when you get rid of the judgment, when you get rid of the ego, when you just care more about the facts, you love being corrected. And here's why. Evan always says this, Mr. Evan Carmichael. He loves to be proven wrong. He loves to be corrected. He loves to, to make mistakes and then learn from those mistakes because guess what? That learning, that correction, the new facts that are, that are coming into your world if you're building a system or a team or a company or you're doing things and you're making mistakes and you don't know about it, that's hurting you. But if you do know about it and you fix it, everything gets better. <laughs> mistakes are awesome when you remove the judgment. You are totally open to corrections when you remove the judgment because you know that with each correction, you're just making everything better. This, of course, brings us to number four. You can move a lot faster. <laughs> when you are not wasting time and energy trying to figure out who to blame or what to blame or how did this happen and nitpicking every situation, you see this in politics a lot, right? You see this in government a lot. They spend all of this time trying to figure out who to blame for everything. They waste time and money and effort most entrepreneurs, most successful people is like, okay, this happened. We don't want it to happen again, but it happened. Let's move on. Let's focus more time and energy on solutions to the problems as opposed to who we can blame, what we can blame, who is going to own this, who is going to wear this. They don't spend any of that time on that. They spend time on action, right? Let's Go! That is what the most successful people spend time on. And when you remove the judgment from your world, you can just move so much faster because it's like the truth is the truth. It happened. We can't change that. Let's move on. This brings me to point number five. When you remove the judgment, you can take bigger swings. You can take bigger risks. You can try new things that are like seem completely out of left field. Like are, you can just... Do whatever you want, whenever you want. And that includes taking really big risks because if it fails, it's like, okay, it failed. We, we thought we would try it. It failed. I, I really watched this with Anthony Trucks. So Mr. Anthony Trucks and I over the last year have become closer friends. And uh, we are actually, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this publicly or not. Sorry, trucks. <laughs> We're accountability partners. So we get together every two weeks, hold each other accountable. But as I was starting to get to know him better in terms of how he runs his business and, and what he does as an entrepreneur, um, I started picking his brain. And, and again, it, it came up where he's just like, I don't really judge myself. He's like, Mark, I don't. Like, I'm doing the best that I can. And I, I trust people. And I make investments. And I have a vision of what I'm trying to build. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, he's like, I don't really judge myself like it's just like I just move on that is a superpower which brings me to point number six they trust themselves a lot more when you stop judging other people and you stop judging yourself the most successful people trust their ideas they trust their vision they trust that they will do the hard work they trust that future them has this figured out and this builds a lot of confidence they, they start to build a lot of confidence in themselves when they're not wasting so much time and energy beating themselves up for everything. 
And this is this is what I admire the most. Like I I love courage. I love confidence. We do hard things. It's all about fighting fear and doubt and taking big big swings, big risks. It's because I want to spend more time around the types of people who trust themselves, who have the confidence to do what they want to do, when they want to do it, the way that they want to do it, and learn as they go. People who are super successful, who have stopped judging themselves, they trust themselves. Which brings me to the final point, point number seven. They focus on results. They focus on results. When, when you're making these decisive decisions without all the facts and you're adapting and changing as you learn things because you're open to corrections and you're moving a lot of faster because you're not spending a lot of time and energy looking for blame and you're taking these big swings, these big risks to make things happen and you're building confidence as you go, the only thing that matters is results. It worked or it didn't work. And when you remove all of that emotion and all of that like uh, hand wringing and all of that like, oh, I could have and I should have and what could have been, it's like, no, it is or it isn't, right? They get very Yoda about this. Do or do not, there is no try, right? It worked or it didn't work. We moved closer to our goal or we didn't move closer to our goal. When you remove all of the emotion When you remove all of that blame, when you remove all of the judgment and fear of judgment, you're just more free. (laughs) You're more free to make it happen. And now this didn't, I didn't learn this this year, but probably the best piece of advice I was given, I'm talking about Sir Marco Robinson. He was an entrepreneur, came from nothing, decided he wanted to become an actor, an action film actor, and he just kind of did. Um, and he has a really cool story. But at the end of the interview, I'm asking him all these questions. I'm asking him all these questions about judgment and about all these things, and I'm picking his brain like I do. And the best piece of advice I was given was he said, Mark, you just need to chill the f*** out. <laughs> that was his advice. Mark, I, I, I think you're overthinking this, man. I think you're just too much in your own head. I think you need to chill the f*** out. That was some good advice. And along the way as I've connected with these amazing people, uh, when I look back at the year I've had learning some of the really hard lessons that I've learned, um, the books that I've read, the stories that I've taken in and that we've had a chance to share here on this channel uh, with you, I think that that's probably the best way to cap off this lesson, this video, this segment, this audio podcast. When you let go of the judgment, you too, like me, can learn to just chill the f*** out.